Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> To effectively communicate, we must realize that we're all different in how we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are seven <clears throat> present. Okay, Alderperson Bourne, uh, Alderperson um, Donahue, and Alderperson Phillips are all excused. Hope they're feeling better or having good travels. Um, next is the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our last council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion <clears throat> and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is a resignation. City Attorney Adams. Uh, one resignation, uh, Matt Quashus. Uh, is resigning from the Sheboygan Redevelopment Authority <coughs> effective immediately. Thank you. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, we have another resignation, City Attorney. Second resignation is John Matiska from the Mead Library Board of Trustees, effective immediately. Thank you. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next is confirmation of mayor's appointments. Again, city attorney. This is uh, the mayor has submitted the following appointment for your consideration. Katie Gladowski to be considered for appointment to the Harbor Center Business Improvement District Board to fill a vacancy with the term expiring on December 31, 2021. Thank you. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. I'll, uh, will the clerk please call the roll for this appointment approval. <clears throat> All eyes. Motion passes. Uh, next item on the agenda is a presentation of the 2020 State of the City, including our fourth quarter 2019 strategic plan action items and critical measurements by City Administrator Daryl Hoffland. Uh, thank you, Mayor Vandersteen. Uh, tonight I will, be, I will be presenting the 2020 uh, uh, State of the City report. Uh, some of the information included in this report uh, is based upon the 2020, uh, 2017, the 2021 uh, strategic plans, fourth quarter report for calendar year 2019. This fourth quarter report includes the status of many 2019 action items and critical measurements, which were included in your packet for tonight's Common Council meeting. Uh, I would like to uh, restate uh, our mission statement. <coughs> The mission statement, I'll read it. Uh, City of Sheboygan is dedicated to providing residents, the business community, and visitors with fiscally responsible municipal services in an effective and responsive manner to meet the needs of our diverse community. The city also has a vision statement. The City of Sheboygan will be a family-oriented and prosperous community with a wide variety of housing, business, cultural, and recreational opportunities in safe and attractive neighborhoods. The strategic plan is made up of six key focus areas. One is quality of life. Second, infrastructure and public facilities. Three, economic development. Four, neighborhood revitalization. Five, governing and fiscal management. And last, communication. Uh, so my presentation tonight will be focused uh, on these key areas. 
and I will go uh, and kick off first with the quality of life. Uh, the first, the next slide you'll see is really a critical item, and that is uh, crime in, in the city of Sheboygan. Uh, to increase guardianship in neighborhoods to help maintain low crime rates. You'll see for part one crime rates, which are property related crimes, uh, the city continues over the past five years to see a, a significant decline. From 2000, uh, from over that five year period, it's actually dropped by 34% or almost a third. In the last calendar year, from 2018 to 2019, there was a 12% decrease in part one property crimes. Uh, another category of part one crimes are violent crimes. Uh, you'll see that uh, we've had uh, some ups and downs over the last five year period. Uh, the average uh, rate is 147, I'm sorry, 144, and this last year, uh, 2019 was 147, so consistent with a five-year average. Other quality of life issues, including, again, maximizing uh, access uh, to uh, Sheboygan River. Uh, in 2019, <coughs> the city uh, completed landscaping on the ADA canoe uh, kayak launch uh, with the uh, launch being located at Kiwanis Park. Uh, the, Launch itself was installed in 2018. In late 2018, the city created a new uh, program, an Adopt-a-Park program. During calendar year 2019, three park areas were adopted. Valrath North Point Neighborhood Association adopted Coal Park. RCS adopted a segment of Shoreline 400 Trail. And Friends of North Point adopted the bluff at Lake Michigan. Another quality of life is really a recognition not uh, outside of our borders by national or Wisconsin-based organizations. Uh, one, of the, one of them listed on, on the slide is we, the city of Sheboygan was number 18, again on a national uh, perspective or national scope, uh, best small city for business. Another was best place for millennials to move, number five in the nation. Uh, number seven in the nation was America's most unique art town. Uh, in calendar year 2019, the city received a recognition from the Soul Smart, uh, a bronze level award for solar energy growth. Another national recognition was best cities for older Americans in retirement, number nine in the nation. The last is a recognition uh, that's Wisconsin based, and that is the city was number 10 for best city to live in Wisconsin. Another quality of life is a service, which is Shoreline Metro. Uh, ridership increased 13% uh, in 2019. That's the second year of double digit increases. In prior year, 2018, ridership was up 14%. Uh, in 2019, uh, this level of ridership is actually the highest in an 18 year period. So the highest since 2001. Actual ridership, uh, 679,263 trips. Uh, an increase of almost uh, 80,000 over the prior year. Over uh, a nine-year period of time, 54% increase in overall ridership. In comparing our transit system to others around the state of Wisconsin, uh, most, rider, uh, most transit authorities saw a decrease in ridership in 2019. Uh, so the city uh, is continuing to grow as far as the service. Also in 2019, the city took delivery of five new fixed route buses, the first uh, new buses in, ten, in the last 10 years. Other quality of life uh, successes in 2019 was the approval of a livable Sheboygan plan that was submitted to ARP. Uh, it has eight domains of a livable community, outdoor spaces and buildings, transportation, housing, social participation, respect and social inclusion, civic participation, engagement, communication, and information, last uh, community and health services. Over the past two years, city staff and a citizen-based task force work hard to develop this livable Sheboygan plan. Uh, these domains are expected to play a large role as the city looks to update its strategic plan, which will occur toward the end of this calendar year. The second uh, focus area is infrastructure and public facilities. Uh, you're in this great room after approximately a 15 month renovation effort. Uh, the total cost was approximately 10.5 million. Uh, as, as many of you know, uh, the city 
staff uh, moved to temporary uh, locations uh, during that 15 year, 15 month period uh, before we were able to move back into this 102 year old building. Another visible project in the downtown in 2019 was the renovation of the library plaza, including the Halperin Fountain, as well as the library's public parking lot. Construction repairs and maintenance of city streets to ensure public safety and commerce is, is another key goal for the city of Sheboygan. Uh, the slide shows that uh, although uh, a lower number of miles uh, were improved in 2019, compared especially to 2017 and 2018, the actual fiscal cost in 2019 was very similar to uh, similar cost levels for that 2017-2018. The big difference, of course, was Penn Ave Pennsylvania Avenue bridge reconstruction as well as uh, concrete uh, paving and reconstruction of a segment of North Avenue uh, between Calumet and 15th Street. The city's street uh, pavement uh, is actually rated uh, every two years. Uh, as a result, this next slide shows a two-year uh, rating. Uh, 2014 to 2015 is 5.93. 2016 to 2017, 5.9. And this last rating period, 2018 to 2019, was 6.25, uh, approximately a 6% increase. So little by little, the overall quality or rating of our pavement surfaces uh, continues to increase. I know you're all familiar with the Emerald Lash Borer and our tree replacement program. Approximately $200,000 a year is spent toward this endeavor. In 2019, 535 uh, new trees are planted, as well as 800 trees uh, were treated to try and maintain uh, those ash trees. Another uh, infrastructure and public facility is the negotiation of approximately 1.67 miles of Union Pacific abandoned railroad land. This will connect with the Shoreland 400 trail, which terminates at Pennsylvania Avenue. The new trail eventually will uh, continue south to Union Avenue. The city hopes uh, in the first half of 2020 to close on the real estate and begin planning uh, for the future for the actual development of this as a trail. The third focus area is economic development. Uh, this, slide, this slide shows uh, really a, a, an interesting story in that from 2009 to 2015, residentially uh, ca categorized properties uh, overall, the city saw a decrease of $353 million in value. Uh, based upon my information, the city's value of residential property peaked in 2008 and still has not recovered. We continue to see uh, significant inroads or increases. 2016, roughly 100 million. 2017, 140 million plus. And then in 2018, 109 million. We expect in 2019 for another similar uh, significant increase in value and potentially we will see the highest valued residential property in the history of the city of Sheboygan. So I look forward to sharing that information when it becomes available uh, more likely uh, in June, uh, received information from the Department of Revenue. So again, uh, three years of significant increase, 6%, 9%, and, last, and 2018 was 6%. These values do not include any multifamily properties. Those are typically uh, categorized as commercial. Another focus area in economic development uh, is our TID valuation. Since 2015, there's been a 77% increase in TID value. Um, the city you know, works hard and continues to work hard on redevelopment. So an $85 million increase in that five-year period. In 2018, uh, 18 and completed in 19 was a, a new 150-acre uh, business park. South Point Enterprise Campus is shovel-ready, uh, and we hope to attract our first business in 2020. Another key economic development effort uh, 
is neighborhood revitalization. Uh, specifically in 2019, Riverbend Neighborhood Master Plan was finalized and approved. Uh, exciting things are already happening in this section of the city, such as the LTC uh, classrooms were relocated, uh, water edge condominiums uh, on, the river, on, on the river's edge, and then Domus Decor, uh, I think, is open uh, as we speak. The city has also uh, had a success in attracting two potential interested senior housing developers on the former Mayline site just north of Pennsylvania Avenue. In the, in the fourth quarter of 2019, the city partnered with Harbor Center Business Improvement District to create pop-up shop program. Uh, three businesses were selected, Hometown Barkery, Cultivate Taste, and then Adorn. All three businesses are continuing after the first three months of the pop-up period. Multifamily continues to be um, something that uh, the city has seen success in attracting new investment in our community. Uh, currently in 2019, uh, end of 2019, beginning of 2020, uh, three projects uh, are under construction. Uh, Kingsbury Village, which is 33 apartments, approximately six million in value. South Pier Condos, phase one, 21 units, approximately six million. And the city uh, approved a, a development agreement for the Oscar, which is on the former Vandervaart concrete site. Uh, this will be the city's largest residential, residential development in its history. Uh, 47 million is the estimate, with 248 units to be constructed starting uh, summer of 2020. In, in 2019, the city began partnering with Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation on de redeveloping the area near the corner of 10th Street and Indiana Avenue as an innovation district. <clears throat> in 2019, the city also purchased three additional properties, including Craft 30 to increase the footprint of this district. Last year, the city began discussions with a developer who's pursuing a timber wood construction of a three to four story office co-working building. The SCEDC has hired new staff, which is developing programming consistent with the Innovation District's mission. By July of 2020, uh, the former historic tannery building will be open. Eventually, 118 workforce housing apartments at a projected cost of $30 million. The fourth uh, focus area is neighborhood revitalization. Uh, the goal for uh, this focus area is uh, to encourage reinvestment in the city's uh, housing stock, creating solid neighborhoods with strong leadership, ensuring quality new housing developments, creating new, diverse, and affordable options for all citizens. In 2019, the city's 10th Neighborhood Association was formed based upon the interests from those neighbors. Uh, this, uh, again, it's, the city has been working hard on creating these neighborhood associations uh, the first uh, neighborhood association was created back in 2013. It was the historic gateway area. The city continues to partner with Habitat for Humanities in hosting Rock the Block events. Last year, the Rock the Block event was three days in duration. As an incentive or recognition for the residents getting involved in forming an association, the city had its inaugural free large item disposal program with over 23 tons of garbage collected, a program that we will continue. Another project within the neighborhood revitalization uh, program is to continue to support enhanced code enforcement within neighborhoods. In 2019, five, I think this slide shows four, but five target areas um, were included, uh, South Calumet, River Bend, River Watch, South Lake, and Kings Park. Uh, the purpose of this effort is to target these historic neighborhoods to identify and stabilize their value with increased code enforcement. Such things that are of focus include looking for abandoned vehicles, looking for weeds, looking condition of the exterior of buildings, including roofs, as well as uh, garbage. In 2015, the city hired its first dedicated part-time code enforcement officer. In 2019, over 1,000 orders were issued as part of this enforcement action. 
The fifth focus area is governing and fiscal management. Uh, the goal of this uh, focus area is, to, is for efficient, transparent process or systems to provide financial information and foster sustainability. You can see some of the recognitions that we received on a national level. Distinguished Budget Presentation Award from Government Finance Officers Association. The City of Sheboygan was one of 17 Wisconsin communities recognized. The Certificate of Distinction and Performance Measurement, the city was only one of two Wisconsin communities recognized. This was by ICMA. And then also from the Government Finance Officers Association, Certificate of Achievement and Excellence in Financial Reporting. Uh, and then the last rec national recognition was a popular annual financial report award from GFOA. City of Sheboygan was only one of six communities to receive those recognitions. All of these uh, reports uh, do uh, are listed or posted on the city's website. Under the governing and fiscal management uh, is one of our key critical fiscal policies, which is to maintain a minimum of 25% uncommitted fund balance in the city's general fund. Uh, this slide identifies that over the fast, past five years, the average percent was approximately 51%. The estimated end of 2019 fund balance is 46%, or $17.3 million. Another critical fiscal policy is to issue debt not to exceed 60% of the state allowed amount. Uh, this slide shows that the uh, six, uh, the 5%, uh, which the state allows communities based upon their property value or tax base, uh, the city would be eligible for up to $146 million. With the city's self-imposed uh, policy of no more than 60%, that amount would be $88 million. The city's uh, current debt at the end of 2019 was uh, 38%, or 26% of what's allowed by the state. The city is quite proud of its uh, annual, uh, annual uh, rein reinforced uh, Moody's Investor Service credit rating. Uh, the city's current credit uh, rating is uh, AA2. Uh, since 2010, uh, the city's had this rating. Prior to that time, the rating was a AA3. Uh, this high bond rating results in a lower interest rate and, of course, lower bo borrowing cost. The sixth area is communication. Uh, this slide identifies the uh, enhancement or efforts to continue to communicate uh, electronically through social media presence. Almost 40,000 different uh, identified uh, um, friends or support we have through this uh, combined platform. The city also uh, is, I think, in our second year of uh, publishing uh, an e-newsletter, which is uh, identified as the Sheboygan Insider. And last, I want to highlight the city's uh, transparency and benchmarking uh, center through ClearGov, where a lot of uh, benchmarks as well as fiscal information uh, is, is available. In 2019, I created a communication task force made up of staff and communication experts from Sheboygan County companies. The result was a communication plan that's currently being used by newly formed employee-only committees uh, communication task force. The last item I'd like to uh, point out is this currently uh, is a community survey is underway. Deadline uh, is February 23rd. We've had a really tremendous response in the first uh, half of a week that the survey has been out and, uh, and marketed. Um, again, the survey is available online. It's also available in print, uh, and a copy of that survey can be picked up at the City Clerk's Office, Meet Public Library, and the Senior Activity Center. Uh, this is one of the easiest ways for residents to provide the city with input, uh, and the results will be published sometime in March. I, I want to thank you for allowing me time to share information associated with the city's successful 2019. Uh, the city has many new and exciting initiatives that we're working on for 2020. I look forward to giving you an update uh, one year from now as the city's outlook looks very favorable. Thank you again. Thank you very much for that information. <clears throat> Next is public forum, city clerk. There is no one this evening. Thank you. Then we'll move on to mayor's announcements. Um, 
We have uh, an opportunity for home improvement uh, assistance. Application deadline is February 15th. They're being accepted uh, for those who are interested in being considered for home improvement assistance through the Love Your Neighbor Work Camp program being offered by Fountain Park, uh, United Methodist Church, in partnership with other area churches. Applicants must be aging adults, military veterans, and financially or physically unable to provide their own repair of their home and home um, the home during the week of work camp. The work camp will take place from June 21st through 27th and will consist of 400 youths and adults from around the county doing project work. So if you're interested, uh, again, contact Fountain Park Church. Their deadline for applications is February 15th. Uh, spring primary is coming up on Tuesday, February 18th. We have a statewide race in the justices of Supreme Court and also a local race in District 6. Um, and we just began today to allow uh, absentee early voting uh, in City Hall uh, through the clerk's office. And that will continue um, through February 14th. And on February 14th, we'll have extended hours from 8 a.m. to 5 o'clock. Normally, we're open from 8 o'clock to 4.30 for early voting. And early today, I was able to participate in the ribbon cutting for the 108 room Fairfield Suites, uh, which is located on South Taylor Drive. This is a project of the Wisco Hotel Group, which will bring major, uh, for the first time, a major uh, hotel group, the Marriott Hotels, to the Sheboygan Market. And North Central Construction was her contractor. And uh, I was down there, and uh, the, one of the principals of the company from Wisco Group said, Mayor, I bet you thought this was never going to happen. And I said, well, it took seven years, but it was worth waiting for. So it's a very nice development and a great addition to the hospitality offerings in our city. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. This will include items 2.3 through, through 2.10. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of the items on the consent agenda? Seeing none, I'll ask the clerk to call the roll for passage. All eyes. Motion passes. On reports of officers, item 3.1 will be referred to the City Plan Commission. Under resolutions, item 4.1 will lay over, and items 4.2 through 4.8 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 5.1 is RC number 244 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred RO number 133 of 1920 by the city clerk submitting a communication from Toby Watson, South Pier uh, re Real Estate Development regarding the individual's personal property tax being applied to another individual and recommends filing the document. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RC and file the document. Okay. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. Will the clerk please call the roll? All eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 245 of 1920 by the Public Works Committee. To was referred resolution number 155 of 1920 by Alderpersons Wolf and Sorensen, authorizing entering into an authorization for professional services with ECS Midwest LLC regarding soil borings in the vicinity of the Badger State Lofts development, and recommends adopting the resolution and receive the RC. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> All eyes. Motion passes. 
Item 5.3 is RC number 246 of 1920 by the Public Works Committee. Tumas referred resolution number 156 of 1920 by the Alderpersons Wolf and Sorensen authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract for the 2020 concrete uh, pavement projects, which include Superior Avenue and Niagara Avenue, bid number 2442-19, and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? All eyes. Motion passes. Under general ordinances, items 6.1 through 6.4 will be referred to various committees. And uh, under other matters authorized by law, I'll turn it over to the City Attorney Adams. 7.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2020 and June 30, 2021. Thank you. And those will be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. And then Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All in favor of adjournment, please signify it by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight.